I'm Alfred Mpenzi. I have been in Australia since 2013. I'm currently seeking asylum. And this is a very special week for me. I have a story to tell. Yeah. <laughs> Deputy Chancellor, I present to you for the award of the degree of Doctor of Philosophy Education, Alfred Mapenzi. Constructing the fact that migrants are looked at as people who are a burden rather than a blessing was my main focus of my study. The framing has all centered on what people cannot do rather than what people can do. Always the first impression that people get when they see migrants is, oh, these guys are a burden to the country. They are a burden to the social system. But if we could start also looking at, oh, these guys are here, probably not because of their wish, but they can be of use in this area. So the myth of not contributing to the Australian communities uh, is, is to be debated and unpacked, because we are contributing well a lot. I've been teaching, I'm working, I'm contributing to the Australian tax system. I will not say that all migrants, all refugees are dependents. We in Africa, we have a saying that is more a blessing to give than to receive. And so we should encourage on refugees and asylum seekers trying to work, to contribute not only to the government, but to their own welfare. Because once you are working, you feel like you are a human being. You feel like you are acknowledged. You feel like you are making a contribution. You feel you are also having a routine rather than sitting in a limbo somewhere waiting to put your hand out. Most of my participants would say, when I reached here, I looked in the sky and I said, wow, no more gunshots, no more troubles. This is heaven on earth. In the process of settling in the communities, they start noticing the dissimilarities that they have to deal with. They start seeing that there is so much they have not known in life. One of my participants said, when we went to Westfield and I saw the trolley full of food, I couldn't believe my eyes. I said, where will all this food go? And instead of sitting down and enjoying it, I started crying for my siblings that I left back in the camp that I know have nothing to eat. And so, it's not that they cannot fit, rather, it's the lifestyle they are not used to. And what does it take? It's a matter of time. We have had so many uh, migrants who have successfully made it in Australia, and today they are contributing a lot to the Australian community. Being a refugee, being an asylum seeker, it will never be a comfort zone, not only for migrants or refugees, but even for those hosting them. Refugees will not be favored and given a chance to, to, to get employment because they are refugees. They will be also employed because they have a set of skills that are required in that area. So what I would say is, we are not happy to displace anyone. We are not happy to take advantage of anything, not even the government system, but we are willing and wanting to contribute to the development of the society that accepts us. It is never comfortable to be a refugee. It's never comfortable to be an asylum seeker. And that's why even for legitimate purposes, being called a refugee is stigmatizing. It really traumatizes. Being called a refugee or an asylum seeker pushes you back to who you were in those tough times. Until you learn to overcome your past. And for me, I have overcome it through sharing and talking and getting feedback from other people. And my statement has always been, please don't sympathize with me. 
just give me your ear to understand what I went through.